I have been seeing people on social media who have been making thousands of dollars a month by selling their books on Amazon. And the best part is that there are no limitations to how much money you can actually make. And to me, that was probably the best part. So I, of course, had to find out by writing my own book on Amazon. And to make it more of a challenge, I'm gonna write this book in less than one hour. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go, come on, come on, I'm taking you with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's And since I'll only have an hour, I think it's gonna be best to write a business book since that's one of my areas of expertise. So that's what we're gonna do. I sat down to write my book and was coming up with absolutely nothing. The pressure was on and with time ticking away, I was left with a choice. Keep staring at this blank screen, wondering if there's any way in hell that I can actually write a whole book in an hour or pivot. So that's when I decided instead of writing a 200 plus page fully detailed business book, I'm gonna just instead make a journal because there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be the next James Collins within an hour. I guess it's time to take this situation from good to great. <laughs> Get it? Jim, Jim Collins, good, good to great. All right, sorry. So after giving it some more thought, I decided why not combine the idea of a journal and a business book into one. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels the overwhelming dread that follows a big goal and is also business focused. So I figured if I have that problem, other people also have that problem. So my grandiose idea is to create a business and productivity journal. And if you can't read that, don't worry. You know, I have probably some of the worst handwriting ever. Obviously, this I think would be a good product, not just for me, but other business owners, people with ADHD, people that just maybe feel a little bit disorganized, but are super creative people. And if you feel like, hey, this might be something that I could use, then, you know, just go buy it. No, but seriously, even if it takes me longer than an hour, we will make it amazing. So let's get that bread. Let's go. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, let's go get some sourdough. Bro, what are you talking about, man? A few minutes later. Okay, so I've been scrolling for quite some time now, and there's a bunch of articles on Medium and other platforms that basically show you some products that help you write a book. There's one that stuck out to me more than anything else, and that was BookBolt. Writing a book or just creating a product on Amazon's KDP is a lengthy process, and it takes a lot of time to figure out how to use it, how to find good keywords, how to create good product descriptions. It's like all of that alone would take me hours and hours to do. And one of these articles mentioned BookBolt as a great way to kind of shortcut the process. So, and I know one person in the comments is sitting out typing, you didn't get published, you're not an author. Well, you don't have to be an author to publish a book or a journal in today's day and age. You can do what's called self-publishing. And a journal is kind of a book that just writes itself. So take that, Karen of the internet. Let's get back to work. So when you get into BookBolt, if you go down to the keyword section, you can actually search for specific keywords that you wanna use. And since we're creating a journal, I typed in productivity journal into the search bar. And here is what we get. We get a bunch of Amazon most trending, keywords and phrases and Google's most trending keywords and phrases. And what's awesome about this is it shows everything from competition to cost per click. And what's cool is that when it adds it to your favorites, you can actually go in and click book bold products and search for that keyword in particular, which I think is pretty cool. Each keyword that you click on this button will also show you a little more data like a competition score and estimated monthly sales volume. And my favorite part is the related keywords that it shows on here as well. Another couple of things I highly recommend is adding these Chrome extensions onto your browser like KDP Spy and Book Bolt Lister. The other thing you can do is go to the cloud and search for the top 100 bestsellers in the notebook or journal category 
and then type in the keywords that you want to use and it will literally show you some of the best books, the titles, the author, all of the things that you would want to know about the book. We can definitely see there's a bunch of options here, but we want something more business-esque. So we're going to keep looking and just see what is out there. And I know what you might be thinking. Hey, just go and write the journal. Come on. It's not that hard. You can figure it out. But I think if you skip this step that I'm doing right now, you're going to have a much harder time ranking and you're also not going to move as many books as you'd want. I think I have a decent idea of the direction we want to go in. And the next step is to actually create the book. So what we want to do is we want to go into a book bolds tab up here. And instead of research, we click create, which is what brings us into the book bold studio and the book bold mass cover converter. So we're going to go ahead and click on studio. And then we're going to go ahead and set our size of page, the project name and everything down to the nitty and gritty of exactly what we want it to look like. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here we have the studio and everything in here is exactly how the formatting will be. And this part, honestly, if you haven't done this already, this part of the process was the longest and most grueling thing I have ever done when it came to publishing an Amazon book. And what's awesome about this is it makes it so, so easy to understand the formatting right away. So let's go ahead and build out our journal. I think we did it. The journal is all wrapped up. I love the cover. I love that there's a monthly to-do list at the beginning. And then there's, you know, an actual fully designed page. Honestly, I don't think that I could have done this without BookBolt's help. The next step that we need to do is to actually get the journal published on Amazon. I have an Amazon KDP, so I can just log into my account. And so let's go ahead and do that really, really quick. Boom, there it is. Ugh, man, that was way too close in terms of time, but I'm really excited to see how this thing actually sells. So let's give it 72 hours and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Let's go. Two weeks later. I got some good news. Literally after a few weeks of waiting, I got my journal published. Here's the email that we got from Amazon. Congratulations, your hardcover da -da -da -da, is available to buy on Amazon. Let's go ahead and click this. Here it is, dude. I just barely bought it as well and it's the same price and it's ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to advertise the journal going forward. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of sales or how many sales we would get, but I will advertise it and sponsor it the next day. I've done the advertisement. We did it organically, got some views and we ended up spending $75 with a total order amount of unfortunately only one purchase. You might be looking at that and saying, well, then this business model doesn't work. And in fact, I, I would urge you to reconsider because typically these types of journals and planners are better sold at the beginning of the year.